The other problem uh, that has received a lot of attention concerns Americans who have received letters from their insurers that they may be losing the plans they bought in the old individual market, uh, often because they no longer meet the law's requirements to cover basic benefits like prescription drugs or doctor's visits. Now, uh, as I indicated uh, earlier, I completely get how upsetting this can be for a lot of Americans, uh, particularly after assurances they heard from me that uh, if they had a plan that they liked, they could keep it. Uh, and to those Americans, I hear you loud and clear. I said that I would do everything we can to fix this problem, and today I'm offering an idea that will help do it. Uh, already, people who have plans that predate the Affordable Care Act can keep those plans if uh, they haven't changed. That was already in the law. That's what's called a grandfather clause that was included in the law. Today, we're going to extend that principle both to people whose plans have changed since the law took effect and to people who bought plans since the law took effect. So state insurance commissioners still have the power to decide what plans can and can't be sold in their states, but the bottom line is insurers can extend current plans that would otherwise be canceled into 2014, and Americans whose plans have been canceled can choose to re-enroll in the same kind of plan. We're also requiring insurers to extend current plans to inform their customers about two things. One, that protections, uh, what protections these renewed plans don't include. Number two, that the marketplace offers new options with better coverage and tax credits that might help you bring down the cost. So if you received one of these letters, I'd encourage you to take a look at the marketplace. Even if the website isn't working as smoothly as it should be for everybody yet, the plan comparison tool that lets you browse costs for new plans near you is working just fine. Now, this fix won't solve every problem for every person, but it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, doing more will require work with Congress. And I've said from the beginning, I'm willing to work with Democrats and Republicans to fix problems as they arise. This is an example of what I was talking about. We can always make this law work better. It is important to understand, though, that the old individual market uh, was not working well. And it's important that we don't pretend that somehow that's a place uh, worth going back to. Too often it works fine as long as you stay healthy. It doesn't work well when you're sick. So year after year, Americans were routinely exposed to financial ruin or denied coverage due to minor pre-existing conditions or dropped from coverage altogether, even if they paid their premiums on time. Uh, that's one of the reasons we pursued this reform in the first place. Uh, and that's why I will not accept proposals that are just another brazen attempt to undermine or repeal the overall law and drag us back into a broken system. Uh, we will continue to make the case, even to folks who choose to keep their own plans, that they should shop around in the new marketplace, uh, because there's a good chance that they'll be able to buy better insur insurance at lower cost.